Hemp, or industrial hemp from Old English hennep, typically found in the Northern Hemisphere, is a strain of the cannabis sativa plant species that is grown specifically for the industrial uses of its derived products. It is one of the fastest growing plants and was one of the first plants to be spun into usable fiber 10,000 years ago. It can be refined into a variety of commercial items including paper, textiles, clothing, biodegradable plastics, paint, insulation, biofuel, food, and animal feed. Although cannabis as a drug and industrial hemp both derive from the species cannabis sativa and contain the psychoactive component tetrahydrocannabinol (THC), they are distinct strains with unique phytochemical compositions and uses. Hemp has lower concentrations of THC and higher concentrations of cannabidiol CBD, which decreases or eliminates its psychoactive effects. The legality of industrial hemp varies widely between countries. Some governments regulate the concentration of THC and permit only hemp that is bred with an especially low THC content. Topic. Etymology The etymology is uncertain but there appears to be no common Proto-Indo-European source for the various forms of the word. The Greek term cannabis is the oldest attested form, which may have been borrowed from an earlier Scythian or Thracian word. Then it appears to have been borrowed into Latin, and separately into Slavic and from there into Baltic, Finnish, and Germanic languages. Following Grimm's law, the K would have changed to H, with the first Germanic sound shift, after which it may have been adapted into the Old English form, hennep. Barber, 1991, however, argued that the spread of the name, cannabis, was due to its historically more recent plant use, starting from the south, around Iran, whereas non-THC varieties of hemp are older and prehistoric. Another possible source of origin is Assyrian kanabu, which was the name for a source of oil, fiber, and medicine in the first millennium BC. Cognates of hemp in other Germanic languages include Dutch hennep, Danish and Norwegian hemp, German hanf, and Swedish hampa. Topic uses. Hemp is used to make a variety of commercial and industrial products including rope, textiles, clothing, shoes, food, paper, bioplastics, insulation, and biofuel. The bast fibers can be used to make textiles that are 100% hemp, but they are commonly blended with other fibers, such as flax, cotton or silk, as well as virgin and recycled polyester, to make woven fabrics for apparel and furnishings. The inner two fibers of the plant are more woody and typically have industrial applications, such as mulch, animal bedding and litter. When oxidized, often erroneously referred to as drying, hemp oil from the seeds becomes solid and can be used in the manufacture of oil-based paints, in creams as a moisturizing agent, for cooking, and in plastics. Hemp seeds have been used in bird feed mix as well. A survey in 2003 showed that more than 95% of hemp seed sold in the European Union was used in animal and bird feed. Topic: <inaudible> Food. Hemp seeds can be eaten raw, ground into hemp meal, sprouted or made into dried sprout powder. Hemp seeds can also be made into a liquid and used for baking or for beverages such as hemp milk and tisanes. Hemp oil is cold pressed from the seed and is high in unsaturated fatty acids. 
The leaves of the hemp plant, while not as nutritional as the seeds, are edible and can be consumed raw as leafy vegetables in salads, and pressed to make juice. In 2011, the U.S. imported $11.5 million worth of hemp products, mostly driven by growth in the demand for hemp seed and hemp oil for use as ingredients in foods such as granola. In the U.K., the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs treats hemp as a purely non-food crop, but with proper licensing and proof of less than 0.2% THC concentration, hemp seeds can be imported for sowing or for sale as a food or food ingredient. In the U.S., imported hemp can be used legally in food products and, as of 2000, was typically sold in health food stores or through mail order. Topic. Nutrition A 100-gram portion of hulled hemp seeds supplies 586 calories. They contain 5% water, 5% carbohydrates, 49% total fat, and 31% protein. Hemp seeds are notable in providing 64% of the daily value DV of protein per 100-gram serving. Hemp seeds are a rich source of dietary fiber 20% DV, B vitamins, and the dietary minerals manganese 362% DV, phosphorus 236% DV, magnesium 197% DV, zinc 104% DV, and iron 61% DV. About 73% of the energy in hemp seed is in the form of fats and essential fatty acids, mainly polyunsaturated fatty acids, linoleic, oleic, and alpha linolenic acids. Hemp seed's amino acid profile is comparable to other sources of protein such as meat, milk, eggs, and soy. Protein digestibility corrected amino acid scores, PDCAAS, which attempt to measure the degree to which a food for humans is a complete protein, were 0.49 to 0.53 for whole hemp seed, 0.46 to 0.51 for hemp seed meal, and 0.63 to 0.66 for hulled hemp seed. Topic. Storage Hemp oil oxidizes and turns rancid within a short period of time if not stored properly, its shelf life is extended when it is stored in a dark airtight container and refrigerated. Both light and heat can degrade hemp oil. Topic. Fiber Hemp fiber has been used extensively throughout history, with production climaxing soon after being introduced to the New World. For centuries, items ranging from rope, to fabrics, to industrial materials were made from hemp fiber. Hemp was also commonly used to make sail canvas. The word, canvas, is derived from the word cannabis. Pure hemp has a texture similar to linen. Because of its versatility for use in a variety of products, today hemp is used in a number of consumer goods, including clothing, shoes, accessories, dog collars, and home wares. For clothing, in some instances, hemp is mixed with lyocell. Topic. Building material Concrete-like blocks made with hemp and lime have been used as an insulating material for construction. Such blocks are not strong enough to be used for structural elements, they must be supported by a brick, wood, or steel frame. However, hemp fibers are extremely strong and durable, and have been shown to be usable as a replacement for wood for many jobs, including creating very durable and breathable homes. 
The most common use of hemp lime in building is by casting the hemp and lime mix while wet around a timber frame with temporary shuttering, and tamping the mix to form a firm mass. After the removal of the temporary shuttering, the solidified hemp mix is then ready to be plastered with a lime plaster. The first example of the use of hempcrete was in 1986 in France with the renovation of the Maison de la Turquie in Nogent sur Seine by the innovator Charles Rossetti. In the UK hemp lime was first used in 2000 for the construction of two test dwellings in Haverhill. Designed by Modetsa Architects, who pioneered hemp's use in UK construction, the hemp houses were monitored in comparison with other standard dwellings by Brie. Completed in 2009, the renewable house is one of the most technologically advanced made from hemp-based materials. The first U.S. home made of hemp-based materials was completed in August 2010 in Asheville, North Carolina. A panelized system of hemp lime panels for use in building construction is currently under test in a European Union-funded research collaboration led by the University of Bath. The panels are being designed to assure high-quality construction, rapid on-site erection, optimal hygrothermal performance from day one, and energy and resource-efficient buildings. The 36-month-long work program aims to refine product and manufacturing protocols, produce data for certification and marketing, warranty, insurance cover, and availability of finance. It also includes the development of markets in Britain, France, and Spain. Hemp is used as an internal plaster and as a mixture of hemp herd shive mixed with larger proportions of a lime-based binder. Hemp plaster has insulative qualities. Topic: <laughs> Plastic and composite materials. A mixture of fiberglass, hemp fiber, kenaf, and flax has been used since 2002 to make composite panels for automobiles. The choice of which bast fiber to use is primarily based on cost and availability. Various car makers are beginning to use hemp in their cars, including Audi, BMW, Ford, GM, Chrysler, Honda, Iveco, Lotus, Mercedes, Mitsubishi, Porsche, Saturn, Volkswagen and Volvo. For example, the Lotus Eco Elise and the Mercedes C-Class both contain hemp up to 20 kilograms in each car in the case of the latter. Topic. Paper Hemp paper are paper varieties consisting exclusively or to a large extent from pulp obtained from fibers of industrial hemp. The products are mainly specialty papers such as cigarette paper, banknotes and technical filter papers. Compared to wood pulp, hemp pulp offers a four to five times longer fiber, a significantly lower lignin fraction as well as a higher tear resistance and tensile strength. However, production costs are about four times higher than for paper from wood, so hemp paper could not be used for mass applications as printing, writing and packaging paper. Topic. Jewelry Hemp jewelry is the product of knotting hemp twine through the practice of macrame. Hemp jewelry includes bracelets, necklaces, anklets, rings, watches, and other adornments. Some jewelry features beads made from crystals, glass, stone, wood and bones. The hemp twine varies in thickness and comes in a variety of colors. There are many different stitches used to create hemp jewelry, however, the half knot and full knot stitches are most common. Topic. Cordage 
Hemp rope was used in the age of sailing ships, though the rope had to be protected by tarring, since hemp rope has a propensity for breaking from rot, as the capillary effect of the rope woven fibers tended to hold liquid at the interior, while seeming dry from the outside. Tarring was a labor-intensive process, and earned sailors the nickname, Jack Tar. Hemp rope was phased out when manila rope, which does not require tarring, became widely available. Manila is sometimes referred to as manila hemp, but is not related to hemp. It is abaca, a species of banana. Topic: <laughs> Animal bedding. Hemp shives are the core of the stem, hemp herds are broken parts of the core. In the EU, they are used for animal bedding, horses, for instance, or for horticultural mulch. Industrial hemp is much more profitable if both fibers and shives or even seeds can be used. Topic: Water and soil purification. Hemp can be used as a mop crop to clear impurities out of wastewater, such as sewage effluent, excessive phosphorus from chicken litter, or other unwanted substances or chemicals. Additionally, hemp is being used to clean contaminants at the Chernobyl nuclear disaster site, by way of a process which is known as phytoremediation the process of clearing radioisotopes and a variety of other toxins from the soil, water, and air. <inaudible> Weed control Hemp crops are tall, have thick foliage, and can be planted densely, and thus can be grown as a smother crop to kill tough weeds. Using hemp this way can help farmers avoid the use of herbicides, gain organic certification, and gain the benefits of crop rotation. However, due to the plant's rapid and dense growth characteristics, some jurisdictions consider hemp a prohibited and noxious weed, much like scotch broom. Topic: <inaudible> Biofuels. <inaudible> <inaudible> Biodiesel can be made from the oils in hemp seeds and stalks. This product is sometimes called hempoline. Alcohol fuel, ethanol or less commonly, methanol can be made by fermenting the whole plant. Filtered hemp oil can be used directly to power diesel engines. In 1892, Rudolf Diesel invented the diesel engine, which he intended to power by a variety of fuels, especially vegetable and seed oils, which earlier were used for oil lamps, i.e. the argand lamp. Production of vehicle fuel from hemp is very small. Commercial biodiesel and biogas is typically produced from cereals, coconuts, palm seeds, and cheaper raw materials like garbage, wastewater, dead plant and animal material, animal feces and kitchen waste. Topic. Processing Separation of herd and bast fiber is known as decortication. Traditionally, hemp stalks would be water retted first before the fibers were beaten off the inner herd by hand, a process known as scutching. As mechanical technology evolved, separating the fiber from the core was accomplished by crushing rollers and brush rollers, or by hammer milling, wherein a mechanical hammer mechanism beats the hemp against a screen until heard, smaller bast fibers, and dust fall through the screen. After the Marijuana Tax Act was implemented in 1938, the technology for separating the fibers from the core remained frozen in time. Recently, new high-speed kinematic decortication has come about, capable of separating hemp into three streams, bast fiber, herd, and green microfiber. Only in 1997, did Ireland, parts of the Commonwealth and other countries begin to legally grow industrial hemp again. 
iterations of the 1930s decorticator have been met with limited success, along with steam explosion and chemical processing known as thermomechanical pulping. Topic. Cultivation Hemp is usually planted between March and May in the Northern Hemisphere, between September and November in the Southern Hemisphere. It matures in about three to four months. Millennia of selective breeding have resulted in varieties that display a wide range of traits, e.g., suited for a particular environment's latitudes, producing different ratios and compositions of terpenoids and cannabinoids (CBD, THC, CBG, CBC, CBN). Dot etc., fiber quality, oil, seed yield, etc. Hemp grown for fiber is planted closely, resulting in tall, slender plants with long fibers. Use of industrial hemp plant and its cultivation was commonplace until the 1900s, when it was associated with its genetic sibling aka drug type cannabis species, which contain higher levels of psychoactive THC. Influential groups misconstrued hemp as a dangerous drug, even though hemp is not a recreational drug and has the potential to be a sustainable and profitable crop for many farmers due to hemp's medical, structural, and dietary uses. In the United States, the public's perception of hemp as marijuana has blocked hemp from becoming a useful crop and product, in spite of its vital importance prior to World War II. Ideally, according to Britain's Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, the herb should be designated desiccated and harvested towards the end of flowering. This early cropping reduces the seed yield but improves the fiber yield and quality. In these strains of industrial hemp asterisk the tetrahydrocannabinol THC content would have been very low, the seeds are sown with grain drills or other conventional seeding equipment to a depth of 1.27 to 2.54 cm. Greater seeding depths result in increased weed competition. Nitrogen should not be placed with the seed, but phosphate may be tolerated. The soil should have available 89 to 135 kg per hectare of nitrogen, 46 kg per hectare phosphorus, 67 kg per hectare potassium, and 17 kg per hectare sulfur. Organic fertilizers such as manure are one of the best methods of weed control. Topic. Cultivars In contrast to cannabis for medical use, varieties grown for fiber and seed have less than 0.3% THC and are unsuitable for producing hashish and marijuana. Present in industrial hemp, cannabidiol is a major constituent among some 560 compounds found in hemp. Cannabis sativa LSUBSP, sativa VAR, sativa is the variety grown for industrial use, while C sativa SUBSP, indica generally has poor fiber quality and female buds from this variety are primarily used for recreational and medicinal purposes. The major differences between the two types of plants are the appearance, and the amount of delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol THC secreted in a resinous mixture by epidermal hairs called glandular trichomes, although they can also be distinguished genetically. Oilseed and fiber varieties of cannabis approved for industrial hemp production produce only minute amounts of this psychoactive drug, not enough for any physical or psychological effects. Typically, hemp contains below 0.3% THC, while cultivars of cannabis grown for medicinal or recreational use can contain anywhere from 2% to over 20%. Topic. Harvesting Smallholder plots are usually harvested by hand. The plants are cut at 2 to 3 centimeters above the soil and left on the ground to dry. 
Mechanical harvesting is now common, using specially adapted cutter binders or simpler cutters. The cut hemp is laid in swaths to dry for up to four days. This was traditionally followed by redding, either water redding the bundled hemp floats in water or dew redding the hemp remains on the ground and is affected by the moisture in dew, and by molds and bacterial action. Topic. Location and crop rotation For profitable hemp farming, particularly deep, humus-rich, nutrient-rich soil with controlled water flow is preferable. Waterlogged acidic, compressed or extremely light sandy soils primarily affect the early development of plants. Steep and high altitudes of more than 400 meters above sea level are best avoided. Hemp is relatively insensitive to cold temperatures and can withstand frost down to minus 5 degrees Celsius. Seeds can germinate down to 1 to 3 degrees Celsius. Hemp needs a lot of heat, so earlier varieties come to maturation. The water requirement is 300 to 500 L per kilogram dry matter. This is around 1 14th that of cotton, which takes between 7,000 and 29,000 L per kilogram, according to WWF. Roots can grow up to 3 feet into the soil and use water from deeper soil layers. Hemp benefits crops grown after it. So, it is generally grown before winter cereals. Advantageous changes are high weed suppression, soil loosening by the large hemp root system, and the positive effect on soil tilth. Since hemp is very self-compatible, it can also be grown several years in a row in the same fields monoculture. <laughs> Topic. Diseases Hemp plants can be vulnerable to various pathogens, including bacteria, fungi, nematodes, viruses and other miscellaneous pathogens. Such diseases often lead to reduced fiber quality, stunted growth, and death of the plant. These diseases rarely affect the yield of a hemp field, so hemp production is not traditionally dependent on the use of pesticides. Topic. Environmental impact Hemp is considered by a 1998 study in environmental economics to be environmentally friendly due to a decrease of land use and other environmental impacts, indicating a possible decrease of ecological footprint in a U.S. context compared to typical benchmarks. A 2010 study, however, that compared the production of paper specifically from hemp and eucalyptus concluded that industrial hemp presents higher environmental impacts than eucalyptus paper. However, the article also highlights that there is scope for improving industrial hemp paper production. Hemp is also claimed to require few pesticides and no herbicides, and it has been called a carbon-negative raw material. Results indicate that high yield of hemp may require high total nutrient levels field plus fertilizer nutrients similar to a high-yielding wheat crop. Topic. Producers. The world leading producer of hemp is China, which produces more than 70% of the world output. France ranks second with about a quarter of the world production. Smaller production occurs in the rest of Europe, Chile, and North Korea. Over 30 countries produce industrial hemp, including Australia, Austria, Canada, Chile, China, Denmark, Egypt, Finland, Germany, Greece, Hungary, India, Italy, Japan, Korea, Netherlands, New Zealand, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Russia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Thailand, Turkey, the United Kingdom and Ukraine, the United Kingdom and Germany resumed commercial production in the 1990s. 
British production is mostly used as bedding for horses, other uses are under development. Companies in Canada, the UK, the United States, and Germany, among many others, process hemp seed into a growing range of food products and cosmetics. Many traditional growing countries still continue to produce textile grade fiber. Air dried stem yields in Ontario have from 1998 and onward ranged from 2.6 to 14.0 tons of dry, retted stalks per hectare 1 to 5.5 TAC at 12% moisture. Yields in Kent County have averaged 8.75 T per hectare 3.5 TAC. Northern Ontario crops averaged 6.1 T per hectare 2.5 T, AC, in 1998. Statistic for the European Union for 2008 to 2010 say that the average yield of hemp straw has varied between 6.3 and 7.3 ton per hectare. Only a part of that is bast fiber. Around 1 ton of bast fiber and 2 to 3 tons of core material can be decorticated from 3 to 4 tons of good quality, dry retted straw. For an annual yield of this level is it in Ontario recommended to add nitrogen N, 70 to 110 kg per hectare, phosphate P2O5, up to 80 kg per hectare and potash K2O, 40 to 90 kg per hectare. The average yield of dry hemp stocks in Europe was 6 ton per hectare 2.4 ton, AC, in 2001 and 2002. FAO argue that an optimum yield of hemp fiber is more than 2 tons per hectare, while average yields are around 650 kilograms per hectare. Australia In the Australian states of Tasmania, Victoria, Queensland, New South Wales, and most recently, South Australia, the state governments have issued licenses to grow hemp for industrial use. The first to initiate modern research into the potential of cannabis was the state of Tasmania, which pioneered the licensing of hemp during the early 1990s. The state of Victoria was an early adopter in 1998, and has reissued the regulation in 2008. Queensland has allowed industrial production under license since 2002, where the issuance is controlled under the Drugs Misuse Act 1986. New South Wales now issues licenses under a law, the Hemp Industry Regulations Act 2008 No. 58, that came into effect as of 6 November 2008. Most recently, South Australia legalised industrial hemp under South Australia's Industrial Hemp Act 2017, which commenced on 12 November 2017. Canada Commercial production including cultivation of industrial hemp has been permitted in Canada since 1998 under licenses and authorization issued by Health Canada 9,725 hectares in 2004, 5,450 hectares in 2009. In the early 1990s, industrial hemp agriculture in North America began with the Hemp Awareness Committee at the University of Manitoba. The committee worked with the provincial government to get research and development assistance, and was able to obtain test plot permits from the Canadian government. Their efforts led to the legalization of industrial hemp, hemp with only minute amounts of tetrahydrocannabinol, in Canada and the first harvest in 1998. In 2017, the cultivated area for hemp in the prairie provinces includes Saskatchewan with more than 56,000 acres, 23,000 hectares, Alberta with 45,000 acres, 18,000 hectares, and Manitoba with 30,000 acres, 12,000 hectares. Hectares. Canadian hemp is cultivated mostly for its food value as hulled hemp seeds, hemp oils and hemp protein powders, with only a small fraction devoted to production of hemp fiber used for construction and insulation. Topic. 
Topic: France. France is Europe's biggest producer and the world's second largest producer with 8000 hectares, 20000 acres cultivated. 70 to 80% of the hemp fiber produced in 2003 was used for specialty pulp for cigarette papers and technical applications. About 15% was used in the automotive sector and 5 to 6% was used for insulation mats. About 95% of herds were used as animal bedding, while almost 5% was used in the building sector. In 2010-2011, a total of 11,000 hectares acres was cultivated with hemp in the EU, a decline compared with previous year. <laughs> Russia and Ukraine From the 1950s to the 1980s, the Soviet Union was the world's largest producer of hemp 3,000 square kilometers 1,200 square miles in 1970. The main production areas were in Ukraine, the Kursk and Oral regions of Russia, and near the Polish border. Since its inception in 1931, the hemp breeding department at the Institute of Bast Crops in Lukiv, Glukov, Ukraine, has been one of the world's largest centers for developing new hemp varieties, focusing on improving fiber quality, per hectare yields, and low THC content. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the commercial cultivation of hemp declined sharply. However, at least an estimated 2.5 million acres of hemp grow wild in the Russian Far East and Black Sea regions. <laughs> United Kingdom In the United Kingdom, cultivation licenses are issued by the Home Office under the Misuse of Drugs Act 1971. When grown for non-drug purposes, hemp is referred to as industrial hemp, and a common product as fiber for use in a wide variety of products, as well as the seed for nutritional aspects and for the oil. Feral hemp or ditch weed is usually a naturalized fiber or oilseed strain of cannabis that has escaped from cultivation and is self-seeding. United States As of December 2018, hemp is federally legal to grow again in the United States. The government passed the Hemp Farming Act of 2018, part of the 2018 Farm Bill signed by President Donald Trump on 20 December 2018. This bill changed hemp from a controlled substance to an agricultural commodity, legalizing hemp federally, which made it easier for farmers to get production licenses, get loans to grow hemp, and allowed them to get federal crop insurance. Some states still consider it illegal to grow hemp, but 41 states have begun the process to make hemp legal to grow at the state level. As of 2019, the process to legalize hemp cultivation began in 2009, when Oregon began approving licenses for industrial hemp. Then, in 2013, after the legalization of marijuana, several farmers in Colorado planted and harvested several acres of hemp, bringing in the first hemp crop in the United States in over half a century. After that, the federal government created a hemp farming pilot program as a part of the Agricultural Act of 2014. This program allowed institutions of higher education and state agricultural departments to begin growing hemp without the consent of the Drug Enforcement Agency DIA. Hemp production in Kentucky, formerly the United States' leading producer, resumed in 2014. Hemp production in North Carolina resumed in 2017, and in Washington state the same year. By the end of 2017, at least 34 U.S. states had industrial hemp programs. 
In 2018, New York began taking strides in industrial hemp production, along with hemp research pilot programs at Cornell University, Binghamton University and SUNY Morrisville. As of 2015 the hemp industry estimated that annual sales of hemp products were around US 600 million United States dollars annually. Hemp seeds have been the major force driving this growth. Despite this progress, hemp businesses in the U.S. have had difficulties expanding as they have faced challenges in traditional marketing and sales approaches. According to a case study done by Forbes, hemp businesses and startups have had difficulty marketing and selling non-psychoactive hemp products, as some online advertising platforms and financial institutions do not distinguish between hemp and marijuana. Topic. History Hemp is possibly one of the earliest plants to be cultivated. An archaeological site in the Oki Islands near Japan contained cannabis akines from about 8000 BC, probably signifying use of the plant. Hemp use archaeologically dates back to the Neolithic Age in China, with hemp fiber imprints found on Yangshou culture pottery dating from the 5th millennium BC. The Chinese later used hemp to make clothes, shoes, ropes, and an early form of paper. The classical Greek historian Herodotus ca. 480 BC reported that the inhabitants of Scythia would often inhale the vapors of hemp seed smoke, both as ritual and for their own pleasurable recreation. Textile expert Elizabeth Wayland Barber summarizes the historical evidence that cannabis sativa grew and was known in the Neolithic period all across the northern latitudes, from Europe Germany, Switzerland, Austria, Romania, Ukraine to East Asia Tibet and China. But, textile use of cannabis sativa does not surface for certain in the West until relatively late, namely the Iron Age. I strongly suspect, however, that what catapulted hemp to sudden fame and fortune as a cultigen and caused it to spread rapidly westwards in the first millennium BC was the spread of the habit of pot smoking from somewhere in South Central Asia, where the drug-bearing variety of the plant originally occurred. The linguistic evidence strongly supports this theory, both as to time and direction of spread and as to cause. Jews living in Palestine in the second century were familiar with the cultivation of hemp, as witnessed by a reference to it in the Mishnah Kilayim 2 as a variety of plant, along with Aram, that sometimes takes as many as three years to grow from a seedling. In late medieval Germany and Italy, hemp was employed in cooked dishes, as filling in pies and torts, or boiled in a soup. Hemp in later Europe was mainly cultivated for its fibers, and was used for ropes on many ships, including those of Christopher Columbus. The use of hemp as a cloth was centered largely in the countryside, with higher quality textiles being available in the towns. The Spaniards brought hemp to the Americas and cultivated it in Chile starting about 1545. Similar attempts were made in Peru, Colombia, and Mexico, but only in Chile did the crop find success. In July 1605, Samuel Champlain reported the use of grass and hemp clothing by the Wampanoag people of Cape Cod and the Nauset people of Plymouth Bay told him they harvested hemp in their region where it grew wild to a height of four to five feet. In May 1607, hemp was among the crops Gabriel Archer observed being cultivated by the natives at the main Powhatan village, where Richmond, Virginia is now situated, and in 1613, Samuel Argyll reported wild hemp, better than that in England, growing along the shores of the Upper Potomac. As early as 1619, the first Virginia House of Burgesses passed an act requiring all planters in Virginia to sow both English and Indian, hemp on their plantations. The Puritans are first known to have cultivated hemp in New England in 1645. 
Topic United States George Washington pushed for the growth of hemp as it was a cash crop commonly used to make rope and fabric. In May 1765 he noted in his diary about the sowing of seeds each day until mid-April. Then he recounts the harvest in October which he grew 27 bushels that year. It is sometimes supposed that an excerpt from Washington's diary, which reads began to separate sick the male from the female hemp at due, and, rather too late, is evidence that he was trying to grow female plants for the THC found in the flowers. However, the editorial remark accompanying the diary states that this may arise from their the male being coarser, and the stalks larger. In subsequent days, he describes soaking the hemp to make the fibers usable and harvesting the seeds, suggesting that he was growing hemp for industrial purposes, not recreational. George Washington also imported the Indian hemp plant from Asia, which was used for fiber and, by some growers, for intoxicating resin production. In a letter to William Pierce who managed the plants for him Washington says, what was done with the Indian hemp plant from last summer? It ought, all of it, to be sown again, that not only a stock of seed sufficient for my own purposes might have been raised, but to have disseminated seed to others, as it is more valuable than common hemp. Presidents known to have farmed hemp for alternative purposes include Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, Andrew Jackson, Zachary Taylor, and Franklin Pierce. Historically, hemp production had made up a significant portion of antebellum Kentucky's economy. Before the American Civil War, many slaves worked on plantations producing hemp. In 1937, the Marijuana Tax Act of 1937 was passed in the United States, levying a tax on anyone who dealt commercially in cannabis, hemp, or marijuana. The passing of the act to destroy the U.S. hemp industry has been disputed to involve businessmen Andrew Mellon, Randolph Hearst and the DuPont family. One claim is that Hearst believed that his extensive timber holdings were threatened by the invention of the decorticator which he feared would allow hemp to become a cheap substitute for the paper pulp used for newspaper. Historical research indicates this fear was unfounded because improvements of the decorticators in the 1930s, machines that separated the fibers from the hemp stem, could not make hemp fiber a cheaper substitute for fibers from other sources. Further, decorticators did not perform satisfactorily in commercial production. Another claim is that Mellon, Secretary of the Treasury and the wealthiest man in America at that time, had invested heavily in DuPont's new synthetic fiber, nylon, and believed that the replacement of the traditional resource, hemp, was integral to the new product's success. The company DuPont and many industrial historians dispute a link between nylon and hemp. Nylon became immediately a scarce commodity. Nylon had characteristics that could be used for toothbrushes sold from 1938 and very thin nylon fiber could compete with silk and rayon in various textiles normally not produced from hemp fiber, such as very thin stockings for women, while the Marijuana Tax Act of 1937 had just been signed into law, the United States Department of Agriculture lifted the tax on hemp cultivation during WW2. Before WW2, the U.S. Navy used jute and manila hemp from the Philippines and Indonesia for the cortege on their ships. During the war, Japan cut off those supply lines. America was forced to turn inward and revitalize the cultivation of hemp on U.S. soils. Hemp was used extensively by the United States during World War II to make uniforms, canvas, and rope. Much of the hemp used was cultivated in Kentucky and the Midwest. During World War II, the U.S. produced a short 1942 film, Hemp for Victory, promoting hemp as a necessary crop to win the war. U.S. farmers participated in the campaign to increase U.S. hemp production to 36,000 acres in 1942. This increase amounted to more than 20 times the production in 1941 before the war effort. 
History in the United States Topic. Historical cultivation Hemp has been grown for millennia in Asia and the Middle East for its fiber. Commercial production of hemp in the West took off in the 18th century, but was grown in the 16th century in eastern England. Because of colonial and naval expansion of the era, economies needed large quantities of hemp for rope and oakum. In the early 1940s, world production of hemp fiber ranged from 250,000 to 350,000 metric tons. Russia was the biggest producer. In Western Europe, the cultivation of hemp was not legally banned by the 1930s, but the commercial cultivation stopped by then, due to decreased demand compared to increasingly popular artificial fibers. Speculation about the potential for commercial cultivation of hemp in large quantities has been criticized due to successful competition from other fibers for many products. The world production of hemp fiber fell from over 300,000 metric tons 1961 to about 75,000 metric tons in the early 1990s and has after that been stable at that level. Topic. Japan In Japan, hemp was historically used as paper and a fiber crop. There is archaeological evidence cannabis was used for clothing and the seeds were eaten in Japan back to the Jomon period 10,000 to 300 BC. Many kimono designs portray hemp, or asa Japanese, ma is a beautiful plant. In 1948, marijuana was restricted as a narcotic drug. The ban on marijuana imposed by the United States authorities was alien to Japanese culture, as the drug had never been widely used in Japan before. Though these laws against marijuana are some of the world's strictest, allowing five years imprisonment for possession of the drug, they exempt hemp growers, whose crop is used to make robes for Buddhist monks and loincloths for sumo wrestlers. Because marijuana use in Japan has doubled in the past decade, these exemptions have recently been called into question. Topic. Portugal The cultivation of hemp in Portuguese lands began around the 14th century. The raw material was used for the preparation of rope and plugs for the Portuguese ships. Portugal also utilized its colonies to support its hemp supply, including in certain parts of Brazil, in order to recover the ailing Portuguese naval fleet after the restoration of independence in 1640. King John IV put a renewed emphasis on the growing of hemp. He ordered the creation of the Royal Linen and Hemp Factory in the town of Torre de Moncorvo to increase production and support the effort. In 1971, the cultivation of hemp became illegal, and the production was substantially reduced. Because of EU regulations 1,308 seventieths, 619 seventy-firsts and 1,164 eighty-ninths, this law was revoked for some certified seed varieties. <laughs> See also